it's time to hit the jackpot on Bowling for Dollars, the Twin Cities Big Money and Big Prize game show where everyone's a winner. And now for all the fun and excitement, here's the man with all the dollars and all the prizes, the kingpin himself, Johnny Canton. Welcome to another session of Bowling for Dollars on Channel 5. I'm Johnny Canton, and we have a, a whole collection of bowlers here. They're going to strike at which and win some money and some prizes and all that kind of stuff. Here's how we do it. Two strikes to win our jackpot. Then our bowler will go on and roll that third strike. And if they do that right, they're going to win a beautiful KitchenAid Superba dishwasher, which features the soak and scrub cycle that's sure to get the dirtiest pots clean. It's the top of the line, Superba. It's presented by your local KitchenAid dealer. Four strikes in a row. Wins for our bowler, the Omega Constellation Watch. It's all handcrafted in either stainless steel or 14 karat gold with a mineral crystal. It's a beautiful watch from Omega. We have bonus ball prizes. We have a red pin drawing at the end of the show. And for everyone who bowls a strike or a spare, a generous supply of Palm Beach hair care products. But let's get it rolling. Get those strikes rolling. $20 in our jackpot. $480 is the new total. Welcome Rick Litsky of Hastings. <laughs> Doing pretty good. And yourself? Great. Uh, Rick and I have had an opportunity to meet before, right. and this was uh, in conjunction with the Metro JCs in a bowling tournament they had to benefit March of Dime, Metal Retarded, Metal Retarded right. up in uh, Cottage Grove. Right? It was in uh, Maplewood is where it was okay. held. And uh, that turned out pretty well, as I understand. Yes, I understand. We made a pretty good amount of money on it. It was my opportunity to bowl against uh, Jay Robinson, who happens to be one of the top 15 bowlers in the country. Right. <laughs> and. Suffice to say, I didn't beat him. <laughs> no, not too many people did. No, he's a pretty sharp bowler. Other than bowling and Metro JCs, what are you involved in? Oh, I'm involved with the Cottage Grove JCs, and I'm also work with Regina Hospital in Hastings, and I have a little coin collection that I play with occasionally, not too often, no. Do you uh, have any valuable coins? None real valuable. Uh, I've got a quite old silver dollar that pride, my pride and joy, but mm -hmm. other than that, that's about it. What, how many coins do you have in your collection? Oh, I probably got uh, a couple hundred all together. Do you find yourself, whenever you get change, looking uh, and to make sure that you haven't missed anything? Constantly. Do you, do you find coins that way? Oh, yeah. That's about the only way you can find them anymore because your chances of going to a bank and buying, you always get new coins at right. the bank. Hmm. So. Well, good luck on your coin collection. Did you bring some people here? Yes, I brought my son, Brad, my wife, Phyllis, and my daughter, Debbie. Okay. A big feature of our show, as you know, is Pin Pal. People send us cards, we put them in the barrel, mix them all up, give everybody an even shot, dig in there and get one for us. Everything you win, your Pin Pal will win, right along with you. And your Pin Pal is Mrs. Herman Wynon of Little Falls, Minnesota. Good luck to you, Rick. <laughs> Elaine is waiting for you. Rick Litsky, Hastings, going after $480. That's the jackpot right now, 480. Two strikes to win that jackpot. And he'll share that with Mrs. Herman Wynon of Little Falls, Minnesota. Ball one coming up. Good luck to Rick. He's got it off and away. It's on the Brooklyn side, but could carry eight pins down. The two and a five left. Rick, convert that spare, and we'll let you throw a bonus ball. A couple of weeks ago, we had a big $1,400 winner, Gene Adams of Maple Grove. And now Rick Litsky is going after that spare conversion. Let's see if he do it. And I think he do it. All right. Good pickup. Entitled you to throw that third bonus ball, Rick. Strike out now. We'll let you pick a prize from our red pin bonus ball rack. Many nice prizes on our red pin rack. Rick throws a strike, and he'll be able to select one. Third ball is on its way. Let's see. Is it going to hook in there? Oh, just off the head pin. Rick, you've got $10 for you, $10 for your pin pal, the hair care products, and you're eligible for that red pin drawing at the end of the show. Congratulations to you, Rick. Twenty more dollars into the jackpot, and even $500 prize is waiting for D. Carriger of Minneapolis, our next bowler. A little nervous? Well, you'll get over that. I understand you like to go to Las Vegas. Yes, I well, like listen to, about three times a year. Three times a year? 
How do you afford that? <laughs> Work a lot of overtime. <laughs> <laughs> what do you like best about Vegas? Um, Keno. You play a lot of that? Yeah. What's the most you've ever won in Keno? Uh, let's see, about $463 one time. That's a pretty good sum of money. That's a hard game to win. It is, yeah. <laughs> do you see any shows when you're out there? No. Have a, that's probably one of the biggest attractions, I think, for Vegas, is to see the nice shows. Yeah. Of course, the gambling is the big attraction, too. Yeah. Do you like to uh, do any other kind of sports besides bowling? I like to fish. A fisherwoman? Yeah. Where do you like to fish? Uh, Lake Sierra, Minnetonka. What's the biggest fish you ever caught? I catch a lot of crappies. Yeah. Did you bring some people here with you? Yes, I brought my mother and father. Okay. Let's pick out a pin pal and go to work and see if we can win for you some money and your pin pal, too. It's Earl Rovick of Minneapolis. Good luck to you, D. D. Carragher, Minneapolis, who is an assembler for Data 100, going after the $500 jackpot. Two strikes to win the jackpot, three strikes to win the KitchenAid dishwasher, four strikes to win the Omega Watch. This is ball number one for D. Let's hope she makes it. Hey, that's well thrown. Low, just missed the head pin. On the Brooklyn side, six pins down, four to go. The red pin is knocked out of the way. She'll be eligible for that drawing at the end of the show. We have a couple of nice prizes for the winner of our red pin drawing. Convert the spare right now, D, and we'll let you throw a bonus ball. Second ball is on its way. Hey, it could be in there. Oh, just missed that. D, you have $9 for you. $9 for your pin pal. And you're eligible for the red pin drawing at the end of the show. We are coming to you from Jim Madden's Diamond Lake Lanes in South Minneapolis. It's a great place to bowl. We're going to take a short break right now and be back in a couple of minutes. So stay tuned. Compare the taste. Compare the price. The only difference between bubble up and is the money you save. Now get two bottles free when you purchase six 16-ounce bottles of Bubble Up. Brushing your teeth could be the most awkward thing you do all day. Getting to those hard-to-reach places with a typical toothbrush can be clumsy and tiring. Until now. Introducing Control, a totally different concept in toothbrushes developed by Waterpick. The secret is in Control's unique handle that's longer, thicker, and has the same octagonal shape used for many professional-type instruments. So it gives you more real brushing control. And because it's easy to hold and less tiring, you're likely to brush longer, which is a foremost requirement for proper dental care. Of course, Control has the type of bristles most commonly recommended for correct brushing. And Control is so easy for children to use, it's the ideal toothbrush for helping them develop good brushing habits. So why not get a different handle on brushing your teeth? Ask your dentist about Control, the truly modern, professionally recommended toothbrush by Waterpick. You'll find the Waterpick Control Toothbrush in both adult and children's sizes available now at all Target stores. Explore new worlds of adventure on Mutual of Omaha's Wild Kingdom. Saturday night at 6.30 here on Channel 5. Reminder that everyone who bowls a strike or a spare wins a nice, generous supply of hair care products from our good friends at Palm Beach Beauty Supply. $20 into the jackpot. 520 is our new total. Welcome Marlis Baker of Bloomington. Hi, Marlis. How are you? Nervous. Oh, you're not nervous. Yes, I am. You're a pretty active gal. Thank you. You, uh, so you have five, five children, five if children. I remember. Mm -hmm. And what else are you involved in? Well, I'm a bookkeeper part-time, and I bowl, and I golf, and I'm an investment club. Investment club. Yeah. Listen, the market has done some, some pretty good things for That's all you right. investors, That's right? That's right. Finally, the last yes. couple of weeks. <laughs> Are you excited about that? Yes. Are you turning a profit? Well, I hope so. How many people in your club? Well, it was up to 20, and I was down to about 10. Some of them dropped out. We bought them out. And I, I had a very good learning experience from this. Well, I imagine with your bookkeeping experience, it certainly helps you in your investing, right? A little bit. You also play a little bridge, too, I understand. Yes. I belong to a Bloomington Bridge Club and many others. Tell me about your uh, your kids. Well, I have uh, my oldest son is fifth year university and he's in business marketing, and I have a daughter at the university and she's an AOPI and she's in engineering. And my son was a Kappa Sigma. I have a boy that graduated Dunwoody and he's mm -hmm. in mechanics, and I have one boy that's in high school. 
working. Wow. And then I have one daughter that's with me today. An active family. Yeah. Well, let's meet your daughter. I have my mother with me, who is Martha Kreiman, mm -hmm. and a neighbor girl, uh, Carol Packer, and my daughter, Sue Sue Baker. Okay, welcome to Bowling for Dollars. Now, if you'll do your duty there and reach in and get us a pin pal, we'll find out who you're going to be bowling for and with on this Thursday night. And it's Mrs. Martin Missler of Eden Valley. Good luck to you, Marlis. Marlis Baker of Bloomington, going after that jackpot of $520. Two strikes to win the jackpot, three strikes to win the dishwasher, four strikes for the beautiful Omega watch. And her pin pal is Mrs. Martin Missler of Eden Valley. Ball number one, Marlis, well thrown, could be. Oh, a testy little eight tenner split, but you did knock down the red pin. <laughs> you convert that, and we'll let you throw a bonus ball. Let's see how Marlis does. It's always a chance. It's coming in there right. It's coming. Whoa, Marlis. That was a terrific effort, believe me. Very good. Eight dollars for you and eight for your pin pal and a chance to win the red pin drawing at the end of the show. We have 20 more dollars we'll throw in the jackpot. 540 is our brand new total. Barb Anderson of St. Paul is here with us this evening. Hi, Barb. What do you do in St. Paul? I'm a secretary for Arlington House Residential Treatment Center. Have you been there a long time? Uh, just two years. You like it? Yes, real well. You and you're married? Yes, I am. What keeps you and your husband busy? Um, we belong to St. Paul Moose Lodge 40, and I belong to Chapter 70. And they sponsor a lot of um, handicapped children for Camp Courage. And we just recently gave away a motorized wheelchair for a small child that couldn't move his own wheelchair. And How do you raise the money? What's the biggest uh, uh, campaign? Have, well, what they do is they have function nights where they have uh, a meal and a program and they charge an amount for that and then they have a drinks and dance afterwards and the money that they raise that night usually goes to sponsor like either Camp Courage or various activities. We sponsor a nurse and all kinds of stuff. Well, good for you. Did you yeah, bring some people with you? Yes, I did. My daughter, Wendy, my niece, Michelle, my husband, Gary, and in front of him, my son, Richard, and my daughter, Donna, and my mother-in-law, Helen. Okay, welcome to Bowling for Dollars. Now let's make somebody at home happy. Reach in there and get a pin pal for us. And it's Harvey Ellen of Wasika. Okay, Barb, good luck to you. Go after those strikes. Two strikes to win the jackpot of $540. Gene Adams of Maple Grove a couple of weeks ago won $1,400 and shared that with his pin pal, Tom Murphy of St. Paul. It's ball one for Barb Anderson. Coming in a little shy of the head pin. Carried away seven. Three more to go for the spare conversion. Do that, Barb, and we'll let you throw a bonus ball. If you'd like to be a pin pal, send us a card. On the card, your name, address, zip, and phone. Mail it to Bowling for Dollars, Box 80098, Como Station, St. Paul. Second ball for Barb. Will she? I think so. Oh! Picked two of them off there. But you have $9 for you, $9 for your pin pal. Barb's eligible for that red pin drawing at the end of the show. It's break time. We're going to rotate the barrel and spin up and mix these cards up, and then we'll be right back with more money in a minute. We've got a sale, we've got a fabulous sale, the summer sale at Casual Corner. Right now, Casual Corner is having an incredible sale with summer merchandise 25 to 50% off. So come on in, the prices are fantastic. We've got that everything that everyone wants, the summer sale at Casual Corner. 
Red Owl is exploding with fantastic 4th of July holiday values during Super Dividend Days. Spectacular food savings never seen before. We're giving away a quarter of a million cash dividend coupons. Register free at any participating Red Owl store. There'll be plenty of winners. To celebrate the 4th, all cash dividend items will be just four cents. Another way we're out to make you a Red Owl shopper. This week, every week. Where can we find a guy who'll sell us a car that'll hold its value? See your Toyota dealer. He's got what it takes. I've got the Corolla five-door wagon. Quality built to help keep its traditionally high resale value. I love these cars. I'm proud of them. Corolla's the best-selling car model in the world. If you're looking for great long-term value, see me. I've got what it takes. Toyota Corolla. Your Toyota dealer. He's got what it takes. See your local Toyota dealer. I'm an ortho dealer, and I want to tell you that more than 100 different kinds of insects are about to attack your roses, flowers, trees, and shrubs. This is what you need. Orthene Insect Spray. It'll wipe out every one of them. It's another great product from Ortho. And who knows more about gardening than Ortho? And me. At participating True Value Hardware, Pletcher's Garden Center, Holman Olson LeBenz Greenhouse and Garden Center, Phelan Park Garden Center, participating OK Hardware, Lindale Garden Center, Robbinsdale Farm and Garden Supply. Hey, we are back with more action. Money, fun, on Bowling for Dollars on the Thursday Night on Channel 5. $20 into that jackpot. Five sixty is the new total. And Jackie Adams of New Hope is our next bowler. Hi, Jackie. Listen, we have quite a few dollars in that jackpot. What would you do with all that money if you win it? And there's a good chance you're going to win it. Travel. Go, though. I'm going to take a vacation to Washington. Washington, D.C.? You ever been there before? Yeah, I went there last year. It's a pretty beautiful city, isn't it? Beautiful, yeah. What do you like best about the capital? Oh, just looking at all the sites. Do you uh, have any one particular favorite site? The White House. <laughs> I, what I found about Washington is the, uh, the monument and the Lincoln Memorial. They're so so breathtaking when you actually see it and oh, when you think yeah. of all the history that's wrapped up in that city. Yeah, it's nice to look at it from the Washington Monument, the top. I've never been up there. I guess it would be quite a sight. Oh, what do yeah. you do in your spare time? Uh, I do some painting and a square dance and not too much. You keep pretty busy though. Yeah. Did you bring some dad. people here? Yeah, I brought um, a girlfriend, Barb, my sister, Laura, my dad, Jack Adams, mm -hmm. my, he's holding my daughter, Melissa, mm -hmm. and Zona, my sister. All right, let's reach in there and get a pin pal. What you win, your pin pal wins. Person sent us a card, Charles Geisdorf of Isenti, Minnesota. Okay, Jackie Adams, do it, do it. Jackie Adams of New Hope, going after $560, and to win that amount, takes two strikes, three strikes to win the KitchenAid dishwasher, four strikes for the Omega watch. Everything she wins, Charles Geisdorf of Vicente will win. Here's ball number one. Well thrown. Coming in. Oh, just missed the head pin. Seven down. Three more to go for a successful spare conversion. The red pin has been knocked away. Makes Jackie eligible to win that prize at the end of the show. Remember, if you'd like to be a contestant on Bowling for Dollars, stop by your nearby bowling center and pick up the new Bowling for Dollars cards and mail them to us. It's ball number two. Come in there! Whoa, Jackie, $7 for you. Seven for your pin pal, that's okay. And the red pin drawing at the end of the show, Jackie will be eligible for. 20 more dollars into the jackpot. 580, the jackpot is growing and growing. Welcome Lance Wiedenbaum of Plymouth. Hi, Lance. It's Wiedenbaum, not Wiedenbaum. Sorry about that. How you doing? Pretty good. Pretty good. You know, all shaped to, to win some bucks? I hope so. You might be able to use a couple of bucks. I understand you're a full-time student. That's correct, right? Where do you go to school? I go over to the U um, Veterinarian School. Yeah. When, do you, when do you plan to graduate? Hopefully I'll graduate in uh, June of 79, that's what they tell me. How many years of school does it take to get your vet degree? It takes a minimum of uh, two years of undergraduate school and four years of vet school, but uh, I think as the years progress they're going to uh, look more and more to people who have about three or four years of undergraduate school. Well that is a lot of schooling, isn't it? 
Yeah, it gets, uh, after a while, it gets pretty old. It's a little tedious. Yeah. Do you, are you married? Yeah, I am. I have two children. Does your wife work? Yeah, she works part-time, and uh, taking care of the two children is really a full-time job in itself. That's for sure. Yeah. Did you bring them with you to Yes. Them? Okay, let's say hi to them. Okay. It's my wife, Sharon, and uh, little girl, Erin, and our son, Jared. Okay, welcome to Bowling for Dollars. And Lance, good luck in your school. Thank That's you. a good endeavor. I'm sure you'll do well. I'd like to, if I could, I'd like to say hello to a few people at home. Sure, go ahead. Okay. Oh, he's got a list. It looks like a list. Okay. I'd like to say hello to the Hools and the Warfields and the uh, Cassidy's, Balsters, Yushas, and a special hello to the people in the vet class of 79. Okay. <laughs> Dig in there and get a pin pal for you, Lance. Everything you win, you're going to win for your pin pals. Uh, F.W. Brunel of YZ. Good luck to you, Lance. The lane is waiting for you. Grab your bowling ball and throw two strikes to win $580. That's the amount in our jackpot right now. Two strikes to win the jackpot. That's a pretty good amount. He'll split that with uh, F.W. Brunel of YZ. Lance is pin pal. And here we go. Concentration. Bowl number one. And it could be... Oh, knock it over. You gave it a good effort there, Lance. Very, very close. Nine pins down, including the red pin. Seven pin left standing. Convert the spare, and Lance will go on for a bonus ball, a third ball. And let's see how he does. There it goes. Right on target. Yes. Good for you, Lance. Lance Weidenbaum of Plymouth. A vet student at the U. Converting the spare. And now it's bonus ball time on Bowling for Dollars. Strike out. And we'll let you go to our red pin bonus ball rack. And select a real nice prize. Many, many ways to win. Right here on Bowling for Dollars. There it goes. Is it? Ooh, eight pins down. That's okay. You give it a good try, Lance. We have $10 for you, $10 for your pin pal, the hair care products, and the red pin drawing coming up at the end show. Good luck to you, Lance. We're going to take another little break here on Bowling for Dollars. We'll be right back in a couple of minutes, so stay tuned, won't you? Clarence Caravan has come to the Twin Cities, loaded with 2,000 Chrysler Cordobas, LeBarons, and Plymouth Volaris with great year-end clearance values. It's your Big Ten Twin Cities Chrysler Plymouth Dealers Great Summer Car Clearance Carnival on luxurious LeBaron coupes, sedans, and wagons on the full line of Volaris and on the stylish Cordoba. The Summer Car Clearance Carnival at all Big Ten Twin Cities Chrysler Plymouth Dealers. Hurry, don't miss out. Open Thursday and Friday till midnight. House of Large Sizes is having a sale so big they had to rent an auditorium to hold it in. It's your chance to save 30 to 75 percent on top name fashions, especially designed and selected for women who wear larger or half sizes. The auditorium sale runs now through Sunday at the Southtown Shopping Center Auditorium. Register to win $250 worth of free fashions of your choice from any House of Large Sizes store. Save 30 to 75 percent at the House of Large Sizes Auditorium Sale at the Southtown Shopping Center Auditorium. Create an elegant table, free, with qualifying deposit, when you open or add to a savings account at Minnesota Federal. Selections include two patterns of stoneware and Oneida stainless tableware, plus hand-blown crystal wine and water goblets. Most items are free with a qualifying deposit. All are available at special savers' prices. Stop in today and see the elegant table, now on display at any of the 32 convenient locations of Minnesota Federal. Here's your nine kinds of soft and pretty bathroom tissue. There's only one kind of soft and pretty. What do you mean, one kind? There's white, four pretty pastels, and four pretty flowers. That makes nine. Are they all soft? Oh, yeah, they're all very soft. See, only one kind of soft and pretty. Well, yeah, but there's blue, pink, green, yellow. Nine kinds. One kind, they're all soft. The soft and pretty selection. Nine kinds of pretty. One kind of soft. 
Here we are back again with another $20 bill to throw in the jackpot. Makes it an even $600 jackpot. Say hi to Tim White of St. Paul, our next bowler on a Thursday. Hi, Tim. $600, and we want you to win it. I'd like to have it. Takes two strikes to do it. That's not too tough, is it? Well, could be under these conditions. Be, yeah. <laughs> you bowl quite regularly? Well, about, uh, I bowl on a league once a week. Mm -hmm. About once a week, just bowling. What do you do for a living? Uh, I'm an office machines repairman for Ford's office machines. Okay. Did you bring some people with you this evening? Yes. Uh, I brought my wife, Ophie, and my son, Timmy. Okay, they're going to root you on to a total victory. Yeah, I hope so. I'm sure they will. You want to get us a pin pal? Reach right in there and make somebody at home very, very happy. This person sent us a card. They want to win right along with you. It's Emma Epinitis of Minneapolis. Okay, Tim. Tim Wyatt of St. Paul. Going after the $600 jackpot. Two strikes to win the jackpot. If he does it, he'll split it with Emma Epinitis of Minneapolis. Tim's pin pal. There it goes. It could be. Oh, just missed the head pin. Eight down and two more to go. That's okay, Tim. Convert the spare and we'll let you throw a bonus ball. $1,400 was won a couple of weeks ago by Gene Adams of Maple Grove. He split that with his pin pal, Tom Murphy of St. Paul. And now Tim Wyatt is going after a spare. And let's see if he does it. It's the one three. Oh, just missed that three. Tim, Tim, we have $9 for you. $9 for your pin, pal. That's all right. Of course, you're eligible for the red pin drawing, which we are about to do right now. I'm going to reach right in here and come up with a, with a winning bowler for this evening. Bowler number three wins the Don Carter Rainbow Bowling Ball. Don Carter endorses this rainbow black hard rubber ball that offers premium cover and special hard core for consistent performance. Also, bowler number three is going to win a dinner for two at the beautiful Marco Polo restaurant located on the Burnsville Crosstown just east of 35W South. And that's Marlis Baker of Bloomington. That is our winning bowler. Congratulations. Johnny Canton got to go. We'll see you next week, same time. Every bowler rolling free strike wins KitchenAid Superba dishwasher featuring soap and scrub cycle that's sure to get even the dirtiest pot clean. Top of the line Superba presented by your local KitchenAid dealer. Fourth strike prize by Bediner's Jewelers. The Omega Constellation watch featuring handmade design in stainless steel or gold Omega watches at Bediner's Jewelers.